stuff really uh, had to be a, an emotional and fun moment for you before the game to uh, spend some time with an old teammate in, in Dan McDonald and then coach against him here this evening. Yeah, it, it was really neat and special. Uh, you know, once we play, once the umpire yell play ball, it wasn't so much fun, but it was great. It's great to have Dan in Louisville here this weekend. Uh, I think he's the best in our business, and, and it's great for our players to to compete against a program like that. And uh, very, very proud of him. Entire Citadel family is very proud of Dan and what he's accomplished, and we're excited for the future for him. So uh, it was very special. Never would have thought 30 years ago that we'd be squaring off, coaching against each other, but it makes it very special. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, there's a lot of traction on social media. Really popular tweet when we started putting the stuff. Uh, with the two of you together, you know, out on social and stuff like that. Um, so that got a lot of traction. Obviously, you're very – that group is very popular going back to 1990 and got to see some uh, some teammates and stuff like that this weekend. Yeah, it's great. We've got a lot of former players and uh, former teammates back in town. And, uh, you know, that's one thing. It's a special bond if you're a ball player from this program. And uh, it lasts for your lifetime. And got to visit with a lot of guys before the game and are going to see some after the game. And uh, it's what this program's all about. It's what Coach Port and Coach Jordan have built. And it's what we're trying to continue. On the baseball side of things, uh, you see why Louisville's played in four College World Series during uh, Coach McDonald's tenure there. This is a good baseball team top to bottom. They can hit it, they can pitch it, and uh, ran into a little bit of a buzzsaw in Riley Thompson tonight. Yeah, they, they've got great arms, and Roger Williams does a great job with their pitchers. But, uh, you know, they're, they're a young team. they got a lot of new players, and uh, they're only going to get better. That's the scary thing. They're only going to get better, and uh, they, just put you, they just put a lot of pressure on you. If you don't play clean, uh, they're going to take it to you. And we didn't throw a lot of strikes tonight and gave them some opportunities, and they took advantage of it. What do you have to do? You had the high last night of the late win against George Mason. Today, the low of the loss to Louisville. What do you have to do to kind of get even keel for game number three on Sunday? Well, this is great for us because you're going to have to win on Sundays to win a, win a conference championship. So we've got to come out and compete. This will be a good test for our guys. Uh, how are they going to come out and, and try to win a series? And that's what we've challenged them to do. So it will be another interesting night to see how we play. Eight inning game tonight, which it was one is one of your welcome back moments to Charleston, a fog out in game number two. Never seen this before, but I tell you, it came in quick off the water, I guess, and uh, you couldn't see the ball off the bat. So the umpires, we, we wanted to finish, but uh, you don't want to get anybody hurt this time of year. Tony, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, thanks, Steve.